Hello, my name's Ghost Critic and you've joined me on my comic book Christmas countdown. We're on day three and today we're looking at Squadron Supreme, another post-Secret Wars title that popped up um, from James Robinson, Leonard Kirk and Frank Martin again on Colours. He's already doing The Punisher. And this was something that I'd never read before. I knew about them. I knew that they were kind of on the edge of kind of the moral ground of how they um, kind of did things, got things done. Uh, but this brought together uh, five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five characters, all from different versions of Earth. All their planets had been destroyed for whatever reason or however it was done. And they'd kind of all teamed up to become Squadron Supreme. Somehow they were able to remember everything of their planets being destroyed, of secret wars, of what happened after it. How that has occurred, I'm not entirely sure, um, but they do. So we had our versions of Nighthawk, Doctor Spectrum, Hyperion, Blur and Power Princess. And the first issue was all out action. It was a great start. Uh, it was very loud, it was brash, and above all, it was fun as we saw the Squadron Supreme take on the might of Atlantis and their leader, Namor. And it had this incredibly surprising conclusion at the kind of beheading of Namor. Uh, and it was really shocking. It was like, how are they going to work this out? And it's only just recently, because I have to tell you, I did drop this title, uh, that they are starting to um, bring back, so to speak, Namor's head and what is going to happen to it. Because, you know, Namor's a big name in the Marvel U, especially kind of pre-Secret uh, Wars. He was very much of the kind of Illuminati group uh, of the heads of Marvel Universe. Um, so we knew he was never ever going to go away. The problem I had with this title was it started to lose direction and it wasn't really because it was getting involved with all the kind of events that you know preceded this first issue. It didn't seem to get involved a lot with that but it just didn't seem to know what it was, where it was going. I think I just barely made it into the um, double digits, but I'd had enough. And in this kind of tight financial world that I'm living in now, a book that was just okay, just didn't cut the mustard anymore. So it was Bye Bye Squadron Supreme. I'd love to know if anyone's still reading this, if they're still getting a kick out of it, let me know in the comments section down below.